Midsummer Night's Dream, brought to you by Anne, Becky, and Ellen. <laughs> Act one, scene one. My good Lysandra, I swear to thee by Cupid's strong foe. By best air robe with golden head by the simplicity of Venus's doves. By that which knitteth souls and prosperous loves. And by the fight which burned the precious queen. When the false Trojan under sail was seen. By all vows that ever men broke in number more than ever women spoke. In the same place that thou hast pointed me tomorrow, truly will I meet with thee. Okay. Keep promise, love, look here, come tell enough. Godspeed, fair Helen, whither away? Call me fair, that fair, uh, against some say Demetrius love your fair. Oh, happy fair. Deme <laughs> your eyes are long stars, your tongue sweet air. More, more tunable than the lark to shepherd deer. When wheat is green, when half or buds appear, sickness is catching. Oh, word, favor so. Yours would I catch, fair Hermia, ere you go. Your ears should catch, my ears catch your voice, my eye your eye, my tongue should catch your tongue's sweet melody. Were the world were my Demetrius being baited, the rest I'd give to be to you translated. Oh, teach me how you would look and wish thou art. Oh, you sway the motion of Demetrius' heart. I frown on him, yet he loves me still. Oh, that your frown would teach me my smile such skill. I give him curses, yet he gives me love. That my prayers could such affection move. The more I hate, the more he follows me. The more I love, the more he hateth me. His folly, Helena, is no fault of mine. None but your beauty. Would that fault be mine? Take comfort, he will no more shall see my face. Lysander and myself will fly this place before the time I did Lysander see seemed to Athens as a paradise to me. Oh, then what graces in my love do dwell, that he hath turned a heaven unto a hell. Helen, do you on your mind will unfold to burn and fun doth behold her silver vestige in her watery glass, taken with like pearl in the bladed grass. A town that loves life flat doth still conceal, through Athens gates we have traversed to steal. And in the woods where often you and I upon faith promised beds where won't to lie, emptying to our bosoms of our counsel sweet, there my Lysander and myself shall meet. And thence from Athens turn our eyes away. Farewell, sweet play playfellows. Pray for us and good luck. Grant she thy Demetrius. Keep word, Lysander, we must have a sight. From love is food till tomorrow deep midnight. I will, my Hermia. Hermia, do as you on hand, Demetrius, up unto you. Oh, oh, happy some or other some can be. Through Athens I have thought as fair as she. But what of that? Demetrius thinks not so. Will not know what all but he do know. And as he airs, doting on her mere eyes, so admiring of his qualities, things base and vile, holding no quality. Love can transpose to the form and dignity. Love looks not with the us, but with the mind. What? <laughs> and therefore is wicked Cupid painted blind, nor hath love's mind of any judgment taste. Wicca, wicca! Wish, and no eyes figure unheeding haste. And therefore, love is said to be a child, because
cousin choice. He is so off the guard as a waggish boys and gain themselves for swear. So boy love is prejudiced, is perjured everywhere. For ere Demetrius looked on Hermia's eye, he hath down oaths that he was only man, and to wed this hail, some heat from Hermia felt, so he dissolved showers of uh, showers of oath did melt. What? I will go and tell of fair Hermia's flight, then to the wood he will tomorrow night. Pursue her, and for this intelligence, if I have things, it is dear expense. But herein means I do enrich my pain to have his sight thither and back again. Oh! Das war 